Ann Richards, you said that what keeps you awake at night is the fear that if we don't manage the land use right in the Central Valley, high-speed rail could unintentionally lead to more sprawl. What do you think uh, needs to be done to uh, make sure that doesn't happen? What, what we see in so many American cities is that there is investment around transit, there is growth in the center, but there is also sprawl at the edges. That that having the TOD happen successfully is not sufficient to curtail the, the sprawl. What do you think we should be trying to do as a state? Well, I don't want to pretend that uh, we'll be able to stop all uh, undesirable land use uh, with one uh, project or with one approach. But I do think that we can create an urban core, and we are working right now with leaders not only in government, uh, but in, uh, in non-governmental organizations to think about the right kind of strategies. We have a lot of carrots we can offer. Uh, we can offer to share revenues with those cities that provide density around the stations and that provide for connectivity. Fresno is talking about a bus rapid transit system that would connect to its high-speed rail system. As we do that, we create a transit habit and that transit habit can mean that even with the growth that they have, it can be more intelligently planned and better accommodated. So this is a very complex question, but I think the main point I was trying to make is this. As ardent a supporter as high, of high-speed rail as I am, it would be a mistake to assume that anything like this is universally good on the natural. You have to design it in the right way. And in this case, designing in the right way means thinking about the land use implications and working with people now to get ahead of that, to put the land use practices and policies in place so that when high-speed rail arrives, we're doing the right thing.